It's another Sunday and time to do a meal plan from the freezer on a no meat buying challenge. Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today is my Sunday freezer pull. Okay, so I'm pulling stuff out of the freezer to eat for the week. It's my freezer meal plan. Um, Linda over at Tulilu Creates and I have been doing this no meat buying challenge and we have started May 1st. Here we are in the middle of August and we are going strong. We are gonna make it till November 1st. Every month, at the end of the month, um, we will have a $25 gift card from Amazon given out. So you can, you, you can comment on all the videos. We've got them in a playlist. And then we're just gonna pick, random pick a video from either one of us, and then random pick or draw a comment with the, comment picker. And then at the end, if we both make it till November 1st, and I have high hopes, I'm sure we will. We are going to do a draw or we're going to do a drawing and we're going to have a, I think we've talked about a food saver for a prize for the end of it. For all of you that have followed along and commented on all the videos and we do appreciate it. So this week, I didn't make the stuffed, um, I wanted to, but I just didn't, I I didn't have time. The stuffed um, Swiss chard, making it like a cabbage roll. I, I still want to do that. So I took out another pound of ground beef. And this is ground beef that somebody actually gave me um, from work. And so I am going to use it up because I, I don't want to put it in the freezer. So it's really kind of not a freezer pull, but it is a freezer pull. Does that make sense? Okay. And then I've got... Um, two packages of chicken gizzards. I will pressure cook them first and then bread them and air fry them. So good. And then in this package, I have a package of razor clams. Um, there's five clams in this bag and I submerge them in water and I'm gonna make a big thing of ceviche and I will have that for lunch and dinner and it's healthy. I've got fresh tomatoes. I still have fresh cilantro. I have um, onion and garlic and you name it is going in here it's going to be and jalapenos out there in the garden it's going to be delicious so i'm going to have some fresh homemade um ceviche with the razor clams and then speaking of the great northwest and the seafood we get up here um <clears throat> this is tuna that i canned in 2019 and that's the, that's the older version that's the first year i canned it and so i i'm it's good for five years. Uh, to, seafood is really good on your shelf for five years. Even commercially, they they give you a five-year shelf life. So I'm going with the five years, but today, I'm, this week, I'm going to use it. I'm going to make a big tuna salad. I'm going to throw in some of my delicious pickles that I canned this week with or last week with Mrs. Wages Week, and I'm going to make a tuna salad with some red onion, pickles, it's gonna be great. And those will be for lunches and dinner. I am going to be making, I've made these a few times and I was inspired by another YouTuber, so I'll totally give her the credit when it comes time, but I've been making these everything bagels and super easy to make. And I make, instead of the bagel, the big fat bready bagel, I make bagel thins. And I, think, I feel like I've kind of perfected it and you can still cut through them and you know they're thick enough you can cut through them but they make the most delicious sandwiches and I just love them so I and I love that everything bagel seasoning so I will be doing um, tuna sandwiches and uh, lots of arugula and oh it's gonna be good anyhow so that's my weekly plan and ton a ton of salad and greens because I have so much of that out in the garden it's not even funny all right I hope that this inspires you to uh, pull from your freezer, start cleaning it out and rotating. I found, unfortunately, quite a bit of stuff that was freezer burnt. Um, my girlfriend is coming over today to pick up some of that because all the chicken, she can cook it down and give it to her dog and, and portion it, portion it out and put it in little freezer packs. And that'll be great. It'll supplement her dog's food. And um, if I had a dog, that's exactly what I'd be doing. So I'm not throwing it away anyway. All right, guys, uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Go over to Linda's channel because she's doing a freezer pull this uh, on Sunday as well. And um, yeah, I look forward to all of the comments.
Thanks so much for supporting us. Thank you so much for coming along and indulging me and participating in this no meat buying challenge.